Now that we've completed creating our custom PLC module and we've inserted it in our drawing, we need to start thinking about how we can apply PLC modules to components. To do that, we need to look at the address component tag format. So if I'm inserting a component into the drawing and I want it to go into this piece of wiring here and associate it with this connector here on the PLC, I can actually set the project setting so that it always picks up the input output address of that particular connector on the PLC. If I go into the project, right click and properties, go to the components tab and make sure that search for PLC input output address on insert is ticked and make sure that I'm sequential. I've set that to 001 there. So we've got search is ticked, 001 sequential. If I OK that now and then apply those settings to the drawing when I bring it into the project. So it's project, right click, add the active drawing like normal and apply those new project default values. So that'll update. It's already taken on board sheet 10, which is excellent. So let's go over to the icon menu now. And I'm going to go for a push button and it's going to be a normally open push button, just a regular push button. Now I've got snap and grid on to make my life a little bit easier, lines in nice and neatly. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click. Now as soon as I pick that up, can you see it's already picked up PBI101. So it's picked up that component tag, the first input output address on the PLC, and it's fixed it. So if I OK repeat now and come down and do another push button here, watch what happens. Again, it picks up the input output address. I'll OK that. And you'll notice now, look, push button, but it's I01 linking up to I01 there. Push button I03 linking up there. That's your address component tag format. So the good thing is that's fixed, so you can't just go and change it. What you have to do is here, right click, edit component. And if you want that to be unfixed, you have to physically untick it there. So it's sort of like locking it off to make sure it doesn't get edited by mistake. I can easily use a PLC address if I want to. I don't have to use that tag components setting in the project. I can actually switch that off and just use the PLC address if I want to. So if I went back here now and went to properties, and if we go to components and switch that off and OK it and then refresh our project here, that setting will update. So if I bring a push button in now and click here, just a regular push button like before, and I go here, you'll see this time it's gone 018 and it's still fixed. The reason being is this drawing is still using those project properties. I would actually need to refresh the entire drawing. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now but you get what's happened. It's fixed and I need to refresh my drawing. So I'll OK that and that's 01A, but you can see because it's fixed, next one would be 01B and so on. So that's how you use your address component tag format.